Hi, I'm Jamal Maroma, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the two online courses I took as well as my impressions of them. The first course I took is entitled Exploring Black Holes, General Relativity, and Astrophysics. I took this course because astrophysics interests me a lot and because I wanted to know more about general relativity and black holes. The course is taught by Edmund Birchinger, professor and theoretical astrophysicist, and by Edwin F. Taylor, an American physicist notable for his contributions to physics education. They co-authored a book entitled Exploring Black Holes. An undergraduate course taught in the spring of 2003, it includes a series of video lectures as well as a soft copies of the exams, problem sets, and required readings. It is not like Coursera where they issue a certificate at the end of the course. Rather, it is merely a video coverage of the class including the class materials. I may be only four lectures deep into the course, but I feel like I've learned so much already. For example, I learned that as the universe expands, it creates space-time. Moreover, the statement that no matter could escape black hole may not be entirely true because this contradicts the principles of quantum mechanics. The second course I took is entitled Modern Poetry. I took this course because I've always wanted to know more about poets like Robert Frost and Ezra Pound. It is an undergraduate course taught by Professor Langdon Hammer, Chairman of the Department of English in Yale in the spring of 2007. The course begins with an introduction on modern poetry. A definition that stood out for me is that of Elliot and Pounds, where they said that what sets modern poetry apart from the other kinds of poetry is that it is disorienting, resistant to the rules of language, and difficult to decipher. For each week, a set of poems by an author is discussed. As of the moment, I finished three sessions and they were all interesting. I particularly enjoyed Langdon's take on Robert Frost's poem, Mowing. I have been watching tutorial videos on the internet, particularly from Khan Academy and Minute Physics, ever since high school to supplement my understanding of the topics we talk about in class. What I like most about these online courses is that, first, you get to do it at your own pace. That is, you have the option to pause it and to take as much time as you need to digest it. Second, it feels great to hear from the experts and their own takes on the topics being discussed. Third, it's a lot easier to learn when you're wearing extra comfortable clothes like pajamas. The only downside to online courses I could think of at the moment is that since the professor or lecturer is not physically present, it's harder to ask questions and make clarifications. Furthermore, it is easy to lose track of your progress and be distracted because it's online and you're not rated for it anyway. As I see it, these online courses could serve as supplements to or even substitutes for courses on specialized topics. In the case of the physics department, for example, the availability of an elective depends on whether there's a prof actually capable of and willing to teach a particular subject. I think that, for example, if a prof thinks he can't teach a subject, then he can just let the online course do it and just test us for the sake of it being credited. Also, the lecture materials and exams that come with these online courses could also serve as supplementary teaching materials that could help the prof and the social department in general in making sure that their programs could compete in the international standard. Once again, I am Jomel Maroma and thank you for watching.